Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jasmine, the Buffet Witch, but you already knew that because it's Wednesday and you're waiting for me. Welcome to another Giving Lit Swatches with Buffet, and today's color is black. I don't know, it's just this eye that I've got on. It's very feline, very vampirous, and it's making me want to have a dark lip on. So, although you've already seen me in a black lip, I was like, how can we remix it? So let's find out how many ways we can dress up, dress down, some black lipstick okay so we are going to use i think i'm going to stick to using my um i was going to call this alien caviar from mac okay so that's going to be the lipstick that we're going to use and i'm going to put on just a squinch a lippity balm because this mac one is quite a heavy duty formula i won't i i feel like the um juvia's place black is harder to remove but they're not too far from each other. So we're gonna use that one because I don't really enjoy the KVD formula. It's not the worst, but I, like, I don't wanna, you know? So I'm just gonna take a Kleenex and bop, 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 bop some of that off. Let's jump on in. Okay, so let's start with, we'll end with a basic black, maybe matte and then gloss, okay? Because that's, that's, that's basic. Let's do our mixing and our ombres first because I found something that I was looking for and this particular thing kind of changes whether or not I'm going to buy the Amazon kits that I was looking at because I was getting the kits mostly for this shade, but now I found it somewhere else. So we will see. So you know the deal. I'm gonna use this as my liner. There we go, lip, lip shelf colored, all right? And now, the color I was talking about, gray. Found it while I was at the Woodman's, and this is, uh, is that the name? Oh, the name is Shadow, okay? So this is from Rimmel, actually. This is their Stay Matte Liquid Color. And we're just gonna, oh, so satisfying to have this back. I had a gray from my uh, one and only, uh, what's it called, Timu order that I made. And I decluttered all of those. I should have kept them. They were good for lip swatching and just playing the makeup, but the formula was not fun, so. I'm actually quite happy that I found this. And in store, I don't have to wait. Ooh, love it. See, I didn't know I needed a gray in my life. A gray that stays gray and doesn't go blue. Like, mm. I love the contrast of having super warm, olivey skin with this really cool toned lip. Mm. I love that. All right, I'm just gonna let this dry for a little bit and then I think we need to gloss it. Should we clear gloss it or should we sparkle gloss it? I kind of want to sparkle gloss it. And the sparkle glosses I have are either pink. I think we would probably want to use this one because it doesn't really go pink or does it? Because some of these are shocky. You'd be like, oh. No, that doesn't look like it's going pink at all. So let's apply this. Let's give this a second more to dry. And actually, why don't we take a photo of it on its matte side? Okay, right back. All right, so uh, this is from Nikki K. You'll hear a lot about Miss Nikki K here on my channel. Uh, this is the Diamond Glow Gloss in the shade Fair. And I'm going to just pop this on. Hmm, yeah. You know, I can't help myself. I gotta gloss it. I don't wear deodorant and I only take bubble bugs. I don't know, 
why that's in my head. All right. Ooh. Oh. A little bit messy on that lip shelf. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is that. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, let's take some photos and move on to the next black ombre. I'm obsessed with this eye, okay? I meant to take it off, but I was too busy looking at myself. I forgot what I was doing, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and remove this. And I'm going to reapply the black liner. I'll be right back. All right, switching gears to a work smarter, not harder. I'm gonna instead use my NYX uh, suede lipstick, and this is the shade Alien, okay? It's their black lipstick. We're gonna use that as our liner because it's just gonna be easier and more gentle on my liberonis than this here Macisha. She too, she too tough, okay? So let's stay in the vampy area because I like it there. Um, so I just did a lips, you're probably the previous lip swatch, the lip glazes let's go ahead and use is it this one okay yeah so we're going to use the shade pinup all right so these are a little bit jelly like uh slightly sheer but i think it'll do what i want it to do yep that is the easiest vampy ombre you can do i don't know a way to do it faster that is perfection. We're done. One, two, done. Okay, that is how you. So gross. Oh. That's how you do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Gorgina. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Let's see. We've got the liner on. Ooh. Should we do a nude? I've never just done this. Let's see what this does, okay? Nubia Nude from Juvia's Place. One of my favorite glosses. I always smell it to make sure it doesn't smell like burning plastic, you know, smelling like Chucky without the evil. <laughs> uh, oh. oh. Ooh. That's sexy. Sultry, ooh. Neutral, oh. Delightful, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm a mess. Okay. Ooh, I like it. You know, I like it, but I wish the center were a little bit brighter. So let's go ahead Take a little bit of that off. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I need something brighter. Lighten this up. Okay, because I don't want to get up, I'm going to use one of my Sephora lip stains. Uh, shade 02. This almost isn't bright enough either. Ah, a little bit. And honestly, the liner looks more brown now, doesn't it? Then it does black. But hey, mixology. That's what happens, right? Mmm, that is a good ombre, though. Good ombre. Mmm, I like it. Yay! Success. This was real cute. We got gloss hair. Uh, I've really been enjoying... Where you at, girl? Where is it? Hold on, stop, because usually it's right in front of me. Oh, like I said, my Lancome. I've really been enjoying this gloss. I gotta buy more. No, I don't, because it's expensive. Lancome is pricina, okay? She said, you don't get me without that black Amex card, okay? I don't know what I'm talking about, but Lancome is expensive. That's just what I'm saying, you know? I used to buy Lancome only when it was like 
uh, that deal. Like if you buy $49 worth, like this big kit is like 79 bucks. And at first I was like, that's not even a deal. But then I was like, this is a huge deal because it usually came with like full size skincare, full size bifacial, a full size mascara, or it was like typically it's like maybe the full size of the priming mascara and then like a mini of the regular mascara but sometimes it was the full size mascara sometimes you get that perfume i don't fuck with none of the long comb perfumes no thank y'all okay mr cycle gone somewhere um but yeah i would get it during that time and that's where i learned about a lot of the glosses and lipsticks from lancome i do have a few favorites i don't know if they're still like being sold or made or whatever but lancome is just not that chick for me i used to work at lancome for a minty 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 little second um but yeah no lancome is just too pricey too pricey okay but I, i'm happy i have this gloss i did buy the gloss on international lipstick day uh, last year or the year before so I got it for like 17 bucks girl that's how you do it you wait till na international lipstick day and then you splurge on all your really pricey lippies that you don't buy on a regular basis so long story short she's been doing the damn thing lately and I really really enjoy look at that look at look 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 at that lip juicy just ripe gorgeous not even sticky like this is a hybrid formula a little side note a little positive rant about Lancome I feel like Lancome, Estee Lauder, brands like that, they kind of get, um, you know, they get a reputation for being for mature women. And honestly, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that, but I also wouldn't disagree. It's great for all skin, whether you have very youthful, poreless skin or you have more textured, seasoned skin, okay? Regardless, um, I think the thing that ages the brand is the packaging. But then again, the packaging is meant to be sleek, a little Parisian because it's a, isn't it a Parisian brand? They're made in Paris, I think. Um, I would have found out, but anyways. Um, yeah, so I feel like the, the packaging is all very, you know, sophisticated. It's very much like, maybe not your grandma's makeup, but your auntie, you know, your your rich auntie's makeup. And I think because of that, it kind of gets a bad rap of being like old woman makeup, but they have some amazing products. They have really good pigmentation. Their mascaras are state of the, like it's it's not even just the formulas being good, the brushes, the technology behind them is really innovative and it's actually, like it actually works. Like their brushes do different things to your lashes. Now, of course, they are not the only brand that does that. There are some freaking um, essence mascaras that rival you know high-end mascaras but Lancome is really a good brand I wish I saw more people talking about it I just think it's that the packaging is really boring and it kind of makes people feel like oh this is for me like in 20 years you know what I mean but no girl it's for you now now later and down the line you know just I just wanted to say that, you know. But the lip gloss uh, formulas have always been really great. Remember them juicy tubes? Oh, I used to love. But you know, now that I think about it, where, did, where the hell was I getting those juicy tubes from? Because them things is expensive. Even back in the day that when I was wearing them in high school, where the frick was I getting those goddamn juicies? I wish I could remember because I know I had a bunch of them. Colored ones, the, the, the like, creamy white one was my favorite. But where the Frick, freaking frack was I getting those from <laughs> anyways this is the lip all right let's take some photos and let's do another one okay okay so my green lipstick lip swatch video I had actually that was the second time that I recorded it just I don't remember why I did it again but I wanted to and I do like the second video better but while I was doing the first one I actually did a black lip with this teal lip lipstick from um Sephora and I really liked the contrast it was so dark you couldn't tell at first but I feel like the longer I looked at it, I was like oh that's clearly you know teal because this really is more teal than it is green and or blue so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on apparently in the most messy fashion that I can because what is this come on now okay 
ahead and get my lip line though. Come on now. There we go. All right, that's good enough. All right, so shade 29. So unfortunately for this one, this liquid lipstick is deeper than the actual lipstick. So we're gonna go in with Black Briar from the KVD Hyper Light, Super Light, whatever the name is, girl. KVD and these freaking names. Looks like this make me want, make me wish that I was goth. I would rock this every day. Oh, see, it's gorgeous. I love that. So when you buy lipstick, don't think that's all you can do with it. Okay, you can mix it, match it, rearrange it, flip it. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got to gloss this, okay? And I know one of these, I think this was the one that reflects green, but that's going to give me like blue actually. Um, why don't we just gloss her uh, with clear gloss? Should we do that? We can do that. We just clear gloss her. Let's make this uh, make sure this is dry. Okay. I love when I'm almost done with the lip, a clear lip gloss. It makes me feel so accomplished. Quite a feat, yes. No, oh, jeez. So there you have it. That is a beautiful dark green teal black. Lip. Okay, kitties, the last lip combo I want to do, I want to use Miss Glory, okay? So where did Black Briar go? It's black. I got a lot of black things right here. I can't see it. Oh, I put it away. Okay. No, yes, no. Actually, um, I want to use Julia. Where's she at? Okay, I'm gonna use Juvia's place. And same thing, I'm gonna use it as liner, really. Oh, are you putting lip balm on? Yeah, this is definitely the last combo. Cause uh, this one's gonna take some souls with it when it goes. And I didn't mean to do that much in the center. So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. So we gotta have room for the gloss, all right? So Glory is like a, uh, uh, is this bronze? Love the way this smells. So that Juvia's place is quite set. So I'm just gonna, oh, there you go. It's just like a warmer. Warmer combo here. Get that all messed up here. A little different, a little Egyptian, you know. A little gold finger, a little matchy matchy. Hmm. I don't know. Of all the lips, I don't think I like this one. 
Isn't that weird? How you could do all these different colors and then do something quite basic and be like, I don't like it. <laughs> it's not my favorite. I don't know. And I love this gloss with everything else. Hmm. We're gonna cheat. We're gonna move this. Uh, you know what? <laughs> you know what black lip we need to do? Sheba. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said it. I brought her out. You know I would. And I know this is brown, but Sheba looks amazing when it is bracketed by black as well. So we'll use Juvia's Place Sheba and Juvia's Place Glory. I'm sorry, Ebony. Or is it called Glory? Ebony. And then we're going to gloss that with Dosa Colors. I mean, these are black lip combos. They don't have to stay black. Now I've got Rocky Horror Picture Show in my head. Yes, Brad. I really like the skillful way you beat the other girls to the price of day. Oh, Brad. The river was long, but I ran. Okay, Sheba. It just feels good. <laughs> you know? It just... Uh, vitamins. Mm -hmm. That's what this is. Vitamins. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then to wash all the vitamins down, gloves it. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, it's been a minute since I've done this. Oh, gosh. But like a virgin, glossed for the very first time. <laughs> I love it. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. One of my favorite combos. Maybe the next lip swatch will just be favorite combos. Because have I done that? I don't know if I have. And even if I have, I'm going to do it again. Okay. So, yeah. That is what we have, guys. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you explore your own collections. Come up with your own concoctions. Take pictures. Vogue a little bit. You know, live. I had a great time. I love lipstick. I love lip swatching. I love sitting here talking to myself, okay? But it's been me, Jasmine the Buffet Witch, and you already know that because, like I said, it's Wednesday, and you know what we do on Wednesdays. Besides wearing black, and besides, you know, the things we do on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we also do lip swatches. So make sure you drink some waters, exfoliate your lips a little bit if they're a little dry from all this stuff, and then go ahead and put on some some lippity balm of your choice for me you know what it is girls it's the lip medics from blistex it's gonna save my life every single time okay drink some orders did i say that if i did more is more okay and i will see you all in the next video all right take such good care of yourself bye